Hello everyone. You're having lunch with Laura today. I'm Laura Lee Collet from Baton Rouge and I'm here to show you some tricks and tips that I hope you're going to enjoy. My, uh, I have a host code every month and here's the February, ho February host code. You can find it at stampinatthebirdnest.com. If you need to get in touch with me, you can email me at laura at stampinatthebirdnest.com. Well, as you can see, I have been playing this set, Adoring Hearts, is one of the best I've seen in a long time for Valentine's Day. The Adorning Hearts Bundle is a special bundle. It comes with a stamp set, coordinating dies, and wherever it is, the, well that's not good. Here it is, over here. Um, um, looking at the, it's right over here, the embossing folder. And when you get three pieces like this, it's called a hybrid set. And I have one other hybrid set, but of course I didn't look, look at the instructions and did things a lot harder than they have to be. So I'm gonna show you what all you can do with this set. And I'm sure I hadn't touched on everything, but you will get to see a lot. I like to uh, punch out everything and put it on a card so you can really see what it looks like. And the first thing you can do is take the die. They're all connected together. So you get nine plain cut out hearts and the piece of paper I, I measure five and a half by five and a half I believe and when you run it through you get plain hearts and just a plain sheet like that. So that's one way to use this. The next way is to use the folder. And let me show you, point out some other things. When you use this, you get nine hearts that look like this. This little um, heart comes in one little piece and it cuts out the three hearts together and the three little mini hearts individually. Then you have a piece that looks like this, and that's where you get these four little hearts. There's also a banner that looks like that, and I'm going to tell you a trick with that in just a moment. Then you get all these little fancy hearts. You get two hearts that when you cut them out, if you put this inside one of the hearts, like so, that would be better to show you, you get an empty heart with a frame. Then, if you, let's see, we have some greenery or decorative pieces here, some leaves, and then, let me show you, this is the most awesome set embossing um, folder that I've seen. It, one side is embossed and the other side is called debossed. And when you cut out and run through the embossing uh, folder through the 
uh, cotton emboss machine, this is what you're going to get. There are, let's see, one, two, three of each design. And then you've got all these little hearts sprinkled around. So you can just cut this and use it as is. The really neat thing is, and I think this is called the deboss side, they are just as pretty as the embossed side. So you have a struggle there deciding which one you like the best. Now, I'm going to show you how to cut it out using the embossing folder and the heart die all at the same time. And this was what I didn't realize you could do because I didn't read the instructions. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heart sheet and I am going to match it up. And this is the the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo on it. So I'm going to put it there. Make just a little light here. And once you get it placed where you want it, then I put a little bit of tape. And you can kind of feel when it's in the right place, it won't move. But I wanted to make sure it didn't move, so I put a little bit of the um, post-it note tape to just to make sure. Now, I'm going to do this one in red. Then you're going to put your paper, and I kind of line it up so it's even. Close that over like this. Okay? Now you're going to run it through the cotton emboss machine at the same time. And I'm going to bring my um, gizmo over here so that you can see it. Now, whenever you are using the 3D embossing uh, folders, which this is, they're the thick ones, you have to play around a little bit with your plates. And the main thing to remember and you can, if you forget, just go to, let me see where it is. It's on this, this page that shows you, use the 3D embossing folders, and you're going to use plate one and plate four. Well, this same sandwich works when you're using your die and the embossing folder. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I have my plate one and my plate four, which is the gray one. And I'm going to make sure that's still in place. So this is going to be your sandwich with the, the gray number four one on top. Okay, and I'm going to run it through, and it's going to be a little tight, but it works. Now remember my rule of thumb, if you are cranking it through and you are really having a difficult time, you, it's too thick. But if you run it through and it's too easy, then you need something else. So let's see how this came out. And you do need the big machine with this, it won't work, or this big one will not work with the mini. Okay, let's open it up and see what happens. Alright, look at that. You've got it, the embossed hearts that are cut out. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I am just amazed at this. 
So that's how it works together. And like I said, if you were just to use the embossing folder, you would have this. And you certainly could come back. Let me get my um, die off of here. I stuck it down real well. Okay. You certainly can come back and center it and run it through to cut out your hearts. But that's an extra step. And of course, that's what I did first until I read the directions. So, remember that when you want to cut them out at the same time, put your die here on the, I'll use the side with the logo. Then you're gonna put your, and, and be sure to find where it fits. And it's just like a puzzle. It's going to wiggle around until you get it into the spot it's supposed to be and then you can't move it. But be sure to tape it down, put your paper in, and run it through. Now, let me show you what else is really cool. These, along with the, uh, the full hearts, and the embossed hearts, you get these decorative pieces, which I just think are so cool. And the way you cut those out is by putting your die down and getting the, the other, here they are, getting the decorative and remember, the cut side is going to go down, but when you store them, the cut side goes up. So all you do is just fit them in here. You can use a little piece of tape if you want. There are four different designs. And anyway, you come out with these. Now, that being said, I put on my folder, a little note reminding me to use our adhesive sheets. It's not so important with these guys, but when you are using the little bitty hearts, the frame heart, or and especially these that have a little filigree, you need to use that with the the adhesive sheets and let's see okay here is my folder that says use adhesive sheets <laughs> yeah okay and here's the one that I wanted to show you I've already cut it out but I put the adhesive sheet on then turned it over and cut out my hearts that way and I'm going to use this on the card that I'm going to show you in just a second okay I am going to get all of this back where it goes so it doesn't get lost. Oh, come on. It's because I'm on TV that I can't get it in. Okay, and then I just kind of made a little design so I would know that one of the fancy ones goes there. And then you've got your two little frames. Okay, so. Let's look at the stamps in a second. It was made specifically with this, this one. And since there was no die to cut out this heart and to cut out the flower, I decided that I wanted to just do it flat and go back with my blends and color them in. Now, the Designer Series paper, which I failed to show you, and is available for free in the Celebration Catalog. So once you decide you want this uh, bundle, then go and get the paper that goes with it because it's really pretty. You have <clears throat> The colors that are used are gold, Flirty Flamingo, and Real Red. 
Look at that. I'm, we're going to use that on the envelope. And look, I love, I haven't used the uh, papers that have flowers on them, gold foil flowers. Look at that. You've got red little tiny hearts. And then you've got a sheet of gold. Now this is one that every now and then they come out with one where you could cut it at six inches and then four or four by four, however you want to do this. And um, they're going to be different. This would be good on a scrapbook page. Plaids. And look at this little, I don't know what you call that design. And hearts. There again. Now, let me go into just a little explanation on this. On the, let me get some of this out of the way. So you won't be distracted. Okay, on this card, where I used, I used the um, black memento ink that's in our catalog. I colored in using flurry flamingo light and dark, and then I used granny apple green light and dark, and just colored in those. Remember, they bleed through, so if you want to uh, color something, don't do it on your card base. Do it on a, a piece that can go over. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. That can go over and hide the back. That doesn't show through a whole lot right there, but some of the colors come through a lot. <clears throat> Y'all excuse my horse voice today. Been a little under the weather. And look how pretty that stamp is. Now, another trick that I did here that you may have forgotten about or not known about. Did you know that you can take, and this works with both blends and markers, if you want to get a little splatter effect, I'm using the large end of my blend. I'm taking the cap off. And all I'm doing is just flicking it like so until you get what you want. See how that did? So that's a good little um, trick to use when you don't want a blank black background. Sometimes white bothers me and I always have to fill it up. But you don't always have to, but anyway. Um, I also use these pearls, which are our flat adhesive backed pearls. They're iridescent, and they're just my favorite. I don't know if you can see that, but it's picking up the pink. Now, this is a little baker's twine, and I wanted to show you how I got the color there. Are you noticing that I'm using my glass mat that is with the joining special? And I am just in love with it. And it comes with this little tray. And I put some of my hearts there that we're going to use. And then I just did that right there. Now, I took a piece of our baker's twine. And you can do this a number of ways, but y'all, Stampin' Up! is not going to come out with every color, ribbon in every color that we have. It's just too much. But you can take the white baker's twine, the white ribbons that we have, add either a little few drops, maybe with a little bit of water, depending on the intensity that you want, of our ink refills. And these can be used for a lot more than just re-inking your pads. Now, I'm choosing to use, I'm just putting it right here. And again, I'm taking my blender pen and the fat end. And I am just going to kind of pull it. You may have to do it a couple of times. It may not be absolutely salt, 
absolutely solid. You may still see some white come through, but just do it again or go with it. Now, I went to put Flirty Flamingo on here. And let me show you how it came out. It came out, to me, way too dark. I didn't like that. So that's why I bumped it down a little bit and went with the bubble bath. And that's the color that it turns out when you dye your ribbon. Okay, <clears throat> the next card, I used Irresistible Blooms that is on the exclusive, online exclusives, and some old punches that are retired now, but that gives you a different effect for using this set. Then I did this one where I cut out the hearts, trimmed the um, leftover piece to make the uh, card front, to put on the card front. Then I added some of the fancy ones, tied a ribbon up here, and did a little sentiment to my Valentine. Now we're doing one that's similar today but it's gonna look like this one. I did a little, just a little white of the uh, Baker's twine that I had, and then used these. So let me show you how we're gonna put that together. It's really easy. Once you cut out everything and you've got tons, I, d I think I did this twice and I've got like 18 hearts. My card base, which I cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is Highland Heather. So I'm going to take my bone folder, give that a nice crease. Then I'm going to take the front side of this with the hearts that are sticking up rather than the other side. And I'm going to use the liquid glue so that you can wiggle it around if you need to. Now, let me show you something here. I, on this card, I was able to get close and trim off a little at the top. It's not the same as around the uh, edges. So this time, I cut it so this is four across but I just stuck with the five and a half. So it's gonna be, uh, I mean, it's gonna come all the way up to the top and the bottom there. So I'm gonna take some of our Tombow glue and just go around the edges. Oops. And I'm not even gonna put any glue inside and I'm going to tell you why. On this one I had to pry up to get the ribbon underneath. Even though I'm not going to do that this time, I decided not to do it. Okay, so see how I need to scooch over just a wee bit and let it come down so that it's even there. Okay, now probably the hardest decision you're going to have to make is which of the hearts you want to use. Which side, and there are four to pick from, and I'm only going to use three. So I'm going to use this one with the leaves. Look at this pretty one. And then there's another one that looks like this. And, oops, that's the same one. All right, here's one that's real fancy and pretty. Okay, I am gonna use a dimensional. Uh, everything's flat on this card, but I wanted to show you what it would look like if they were standing up. So I'm just gonna take, and I'm using the last, the edge of my dimensionals. Don't forget that you wanna do that so that you get everything you can out of that dimensional sheet. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put this one here. 
Okay. And then it just gives a little of the uh, Highland Heather. This is a bubble bath. I don't know if I told you that or not. Okay. Oops. Helps if you take the back off. Okay, then that's there. So I use the back side, the reverse side on this one. And let's see, I'm going to use this one. I don't know, what do you think? This side or this side? Oh, let's go with this side. Okay, so there you have that. So there are your little hearts that make it look a little three-dimensional. Now, these, <clears throat> I did remember to use the uh, adhesive sheet. So I've already cut these out. And all I'm going to do is peel off that and stick them in the middle. Isn't that a whole lot easier than trying to put Tombow on, on those little bitty pieces. So if y'all have to make yourself a note like I do, do that and then it'll make your life much easier. Okay. There. And one more. Oh, this is a really pretty one. And there's a little, let me see that little heart didn't come out. Remember I told you this a couple of weeks ago. You can use your um, take your pick tool with the brush end. Now mine's old so it, it um, doesn't come like this anymore. It comes with an attachment that goes here. And you're just going to put you can leave it in the frame Sometimes if it falls out and it's already out, I'll just take it and gently rub that over. And it gets most of the little pieces, the, I don't know, I think we used to call them hanging chads. Anyway, the debris that comes out. Okay, let's get, let me use my, and you just, Use the pokey end until you can get up, there you go, get up under it and get it started. And that's going to go right there. Oh, I'm loving having those popped up. Either way is beautiful, but it, it just, I love that. Now, let me show you a little trick about the sentiment. There is one sentiment in the set, and it's just for you, and it's curved, and it goes with this tag die. Now, a while ago, I guess this was my left, my left-handedness, I stamped, and I, I use it here. This one came out better than the first one, but I stamped first, and then cut it out. That's way too hard. This one isn't quite where I want it to be. It looks okay. But the easiest thing to do is to take your, go ahead and cut out your tag. We don't need to do this very often, so. And I'm using the Highland Heather and you want to make sure that you have it right side and match it so that it'll be curved the same way. And I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And there you have it. Perfect. And I'm going to again use a little bit of the Let's see where I'm going to put this. I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, dimensionals on this too. And I think I'm going to do it like I did before. Maybe angle it a little bit. That would be cute. So I'm going to use a couple of these. Or you can use the mini dimensionals if you have those. Oops. 
and I'm going to do it like that. And then I already have a bow tied. Now, this was some retired baker's twine, and I doubled it to make it a little fuller. And I'm just going to use a glue dot. And I think this time I'll put it right at the bottom. Now, if it's too big, you can always adjust the little legs. Somehow I got that one on the wrong side. And I'm going to trim those just a tad. Okay. And there you have it. Now, on the inside, I decided to go ahead and put bubble bath. And I wanted to stamp, and I'm not going to take time to color this in, but I just want to, and, I, and also I'm using uh, Highland Heather ink, where if I wanted to use the blends, I would need to use a permanent black. But that is just so pretty. And then I'm going to stick that on the inside. Oops. Oops. So. Okay. Now, when I send a card, I used to put the exact date. Now I just put the year on it. And then when you turn it over, remember you have to put your logo. And I'm going to need the purple again. So here is my hallmark. Letting people know that I handmade that just for them. So there you have the card. Now let me show you a couple of little tricks on the envelope. Here's our white envelope. And remember how I told you that the uh, they will bleed through the blends when you use them. So you don't, if you're going to use them on your um, envelope, be sure that you put a little cheat sheet in there. Okay, such as this is just, or here's the one I was going to use. Stick it down. Okay, now I want it on the bottom left. So you're going to stick it right there. And then, let me see which stamp I'm going to use. I think I'll go with this cute little flower right there. And I am going to use the Memento Black. haven't used it yet. Now, if you ever have trouble getting your stamps to ink up a photopolymer, you can do a number of things. You can rub it on your uh, wrist or on your jeans or where you um, clean your pad, put them in there and twist it around a little bit and it'll get that film off. Sometimes it doesn't make a difference, but sometimes it does. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right there. I'm going to take my that's flirty flamingo. Oh wait, here's my I have both of them out testing. So I'm taking my blushing bride dark not blushing bride Woo! that came out of last year's stuff. This is bubble bath. And I'm just going to do the two little flowers. And I'm going to do a light granny apple green for the, oops, well let's do this. You have more control with the little one. But this is doing well. Okay.
Now, let's see. I don't know if it, it did not show through here, but it would have probably bled through there because it's a little thin. Okay, then I wanted to use a piece of our designer paper. And this is such an easy way to decorate a flap. I haven't done this in a while, but I think I first saw it on Mary Fish's website. So what I'm going to do is this is cut. Your flap is actually almost two and a half. I must have cut that a little bit. By five and a half or six, I'm going to use the, the Tombow glue and I'm going to put it all around the edge, along the fold line, and here. Remember, just like when you're in kindergarten, you don't want to put too much or it'll squish out everywhere. So, there you go. Great way to use your designer paper. And then all you do, need to do is take your paper snips, go around, and okay. So there you have your beautiful card and a gold envelope. I could have used something different, but I kind of like it. So um, I hope very that you've learned some things, and we'll try this hybrid thing next time you grab one or grab this set. And you know, hearts, they can be used all year long. They don't just have to be for Valentine's Day. So, I hope that you will have fun with this set that comes with the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folder, wherever, oh, here, I set it right here. Okay? And then I've got all these leftover hearts that I'm just going to go to town making my uh, cards today. I'm going to send some of these for a birthday and some for Valentine's. Take care. Enjoyed you being with me today. Come back next week. Love you. Have a great week.